here are seven books or book series that I read to my kids in 2023. Now, I've already read 12 books to them. I'm only listing A, the good ones, and B, if there's a series, I'm not gonna list the whole series, and C, I'm saving some of them for a separate video for you guys. For now, let's get started. The first book that I read to my kids this year was Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland is a classic and I had just never read it. So I decided to read it to my children and we loved it. I had high expectations. Those expectations were met. If you haven't read it to your kids, if it has somehow escaped your reading list, I say read it to them. There's so many funny scenes, so much gibberish, so much fantasy. The next one was Tuesdays at the Castle. This is a series and Tuesdays in the Castle is the first one. So this is a cute little fantasy story about a princess who lives in a magical castle. So if that sounds like your kind of story, the kind of story your children would enjoy, I would say it's a good read. It says, meet the castle that can build itself and the children who will do anything to defend it. And it was just a good, sweet, simple story. The next one was Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. This story is wonderful. I found it at a thrift store and I had heard about it. It's a Newbery Honor Award book. It's also recommended by Sunlight. So I already kind of had my eye out for it. And when I found it at the thrift store, I was like, yes, got it. This story had a whole bunch of stories within the story. So there is constantly stories being told by either the father, the dragon, and other characters that you meet along the way. And that just was really fun. And then the last couple chapters, as it's wrapping up, you're you're seeing all the pieces of like multiple stories come together. And it was just so sweet. My kids loved it. I think we read the last hundred pages in one night. And then you can talk to your kids about all the stories, all the stories you read when you read this one story. And that also was fun. It was a really good discussion. The next one was Adventures with Waffles. Now we actually listened to this book together on script. If you've never heard of script, it's an online library. You pay a monthly fee, about $12 a month. But right now you can use my link, which I'll have linked below to get 60 days free for the membership. And then if you can cancel it at that point, if you're not interested, or if you find that you're really loving it and like listening a lot or reading a lot, you can keep the membership. I've had mine now for about two years. Absolutely love it. Has so many good books on there, including Adventures with Waffles. This last spring, I had the flu or food poisoning or something. And all of us, uh, the kids and I ended up just sitting around in my bedroom. They ate pizza because I wasn't gonna be cooking. And we sat and listened to Adventures with Waffles. It made a really special memory for us and the story was beautiful. It's actually written in Norwegian and translated to English. And the narrator for the story kind of has like a little accent and they make it feel like a little bit Norwegian. It was really funny and it also had so many sweet and endearing moments. So if you like those kind of just sweet, snuggle up in a blanket, laugh at special moments together with your kids, Adventures with Waffles will definitely do that for you. The next series of books we read is Hank the Cowdog. Now there is like 80 books or more in the series. I don't remember exactly, but there's a lot. And we're only on book eight. So we still have a long ways to go, but so far we are loving Hank the Cowdog. It is so funny. I actually own several, but we've been listening to them all on Audible because they're read by the author and he just does such a great job. He sings the songs, he has different voices for all of his characters, and he just does a great job narrating his own story. And they never get old, they're just so funny. They're a really great series if you like cowboys and silly dogs talking and doing silly things. He is quite the character and he gets himself into a lot of little pickles that he has to kind of figure his way out of. The next one I read was The Hardy Boys, The Mystery of Cabin Island. The Hardy Boys are really fun. They are a little bit predictable and the stories do kind of feel the same after a while, but my boys love them anyway. <laughs> so we read them anyway. And I actually really like them because they were written almost a hundred years ago. They have a lot of different dialogue than we have today. And honestly, I think that's good. I think it gives my kids a broader vocabulary. I think it gives them an appreciation for a different writing style. I also just love that they're really wholesome. Like the Hardy Boys themselves are wholesome. So there's just an emphasis on right and wrong. And I like that as a parent reading to my children, I like the emphasis on right and wrong. And so I just, I enjoy the Hardy Boys for that reason, even if they are a little bit you know, on the predictable side. The next book we read was Boundless. This book is actually like a fantasy historical fiction mixture. And 
I didn't actually realize that going into it, it's about an eight hour listen on Scribd or Audible or wherever. It's eight hours to listen to it. And we end up listening to it on a road trip. The kids and I really enjoyed it. So it started out where this boy is getting on a train. He's going on this adventure. He meets a girl in the circus. Then they introduce the idea, the topic of Sasquatches. And I have a Sasquatch lover in my family. My nine-year-old just perched right up. His eyes got big and he looked at me and I was like, I didn't know. I didn't realize this was a fantasy. There was other fantastical elements in the book and it just made it really fun and interesting. It had history and it had fantasy and it was just a really well done combination. I felt like the author did a really good job of building out each character and making them really somebody that you felt like you knew. And so we ended up listening to that entire book on our road trip from start to finish. We really, really enjoyed it. It's set on the Canadian railway. So also it's set in a different country, which is kind of fun. I like to read books that are set around the world. I have several videos with book lists that are great options for read alouds, especially with summer coming. If you've got some extra time on your hands and you're not sure what to read to your kids, these are great options to read or listen to together. Also don't miss the script link below so that you can get 60 days free with my link. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys again really soon.